Qatar delivers aid to Egypt as the world awaits the opening of the Rafah crossing into Gaza. Sanctions on Venezuela from Washington could be easing up following mediation in Qatar. And finally, El Said is set to donate 25% of proceeds from its next AFC Champions League game. Hi, this is Ali. This is the Roundup and here are today's top stories. Israel has once again launched an airstrike on the Rafah crossing on Monday despite international efforts to secure the safe entry of urgent aid into Gaza. Hundreds of Palestinians were in the area when Israel struck the crossing. The attack occurred just hours after a Qatari Amiri force plane landed in Egypt's Al Arish airport to deliver much needed aid to Gazans under siege. Now, Venezuela's government and opposition are set to resume long suspended talks later today, a move that could lead to Washington easing sanctions on the South American nation. This could happen if Maduro signs an agreement with opposition leaders committing to a framework for free and fair elections. It comes after reports confirmed that the two nations met in Qatar to talk over the deal. And finally, Qatari football club Al Said has announced that 25% of proceeds from its upcoming AFC Champions League match will be donated to Palestinians in Gaza. The donation will be directly made to Qatar Red Crescent's Palestine Relief Campaign. Al Faisali of Jordan will be Al Said's next opponents with the match set to take place on October 23rd. Well, that's all for today. For more stories, head over to our website or download our app.